a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello everyone, welcome back to my wonderful channel, Reality Latest Gis, your home of news and politics. Thank you so much for joining us on today. Wonderful news. The headlines, the All Progressive Congress Transition Committee in Edo State and the state government on Sunday traded words over the recent recruitment of 4,000 teachers by the outgoing administration of Governor Godwin Obaseke. My people know be small baby. He now said. But guys, before we bring the main gist to you, I would like to welcome our amazing subscribers and viewers. Thank you especially for joining us on today's wonderful news. So my people, let's dive into the main gist. The All Progressive Congress Transition Committee in Edo State and the state government on Sunday traded words over the recent recruitment of 4,000 teachers by the outgoing administration of Governor Gordon Obaseke. My people, the member of the APC Transition Committee, Kasim Afeboy, Describe Governor Gordon Obaseki recruitment as an attempt to overload the system. So now, my people, the state government through the Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Nikari, don't come and come talk today, waiting a February talk. We are not only vicious, but also highlighted a lack of understanding of the current political landscape. My people, Obaseki administration we hand over to the governor elect, Mondo Obolo, on Monday 12. And the two transition committee were at all over documents with the APC committee accusing the state government committee of employing delay tactics. So now the former commissioner in Edo State, Afeboy, don't talk to the move by Governor Gordon Obasiki, the outgoing government in Edo State is an attempt to overload the system and lay Bobby Trap for the incoming administration of Senator Mondo Oholo. Hey, my phone is more water. This way, talk say this thing way Governor Gordon Obasiki do don't show say the position where we say Edo best projects be before. Say na stress to Edo people. Hey, he say Governor Gordon Obasiki no mean well for Edo people, nor for their educational system. He said Governor Gordon Obasiki used the project for his self-interest, playing with the future of their children. I put he didn't end there, he went ahead to say that the purported recruitment of 4,000 teachers by the outgoing governor, Gordon Obasiki, is in bad fit because all through his active years as chief executive of Edo State, say Governor Gordon Obasiki no fee recruit any teacher to revigorate the educational system of the state. So now the APC are sad by the sudden realization of Governor Gogdino Basiki in the Twitter of his administration that the educational system now need teachers. <laughs> they say it is patent to allow the public and particularly those allegedly recruited as teachers to disregard the exercise and see it as another political ploy by Governor Gogdino Basiki, known for using a do best to allegedly deceive the citizen. The World Bank and other donor agencies. I thought I went ahead to say that the public should disregard whatever thing Governor Gordon is saying because he used the do best project for his personal interests and that of his cronies. That if Governor Gordon Obaseke meant well for Edo people. He ought to have done this recruitment long before now that his game is up. After I say, if Governor Gordon Obaseke, if you remember when his predecessor, Comrade Adam Oshomble, recruited 2,500 teachers at the twin light of his administration, which Governor Gordon Obaseke fragrantly discontinued on assumption of office in 2016 out of hatred for those who helped him to power. So, Make it no bother that the incoming admission of Senator Mondo Ubolo will follow the process in the recruitment of teachers, which he consistently promised throughout his campaign period. He says Senator Mondo Ubolo will not recruit teachers with a partisan mind, but with a determination to make Edo State better for their children. So, playing politics with recruitment of teachers will be the biggest disservice any governor will leave behind as a legacy. Hey, my people don't be small boys, boys, oh. but now my people, the state government don't come out and kick against waiting a February talk. <laughs> They say Afeba and the Transition Committee lack understanding of the current politics landscape in Edo State. So, in a statement, the Commissioner for Communication and Orientation released on Sunday. He said it is both laughable and concerning to witness the recent comment made by Kasim Afeboy, which seeks to undermine the recruitment of dedicated teachers for Edo children. <laughs> he said these educators are essential for advancing the transformative Edo Best program, which has made significant stride in proving educational standard in Edo State. So Afeba marks are not only vicious but also highlighted the lack of understanding of the current political landscape. So his statement is amusing on several fronts. My people Chris Nikari didn't relent or he went ahead to fire Afeba. He said that it is important to remind Afeba and his cohort that a 
According to the Nigeria Constitution, only one governor holds authority at any given time. He said until November 12th, they lack the power to influence policy decision. Hence, the attempt to dedicate educational policy are not only premature, but also legally unfounded. Chris Nekari said the qualified teachers who had recently been engaged were not appointed on a whim. Adding that they began the application process months ago, long before the recent election. So this demonstrates the commitment of the current administration to ensure that their educational system is staffed with competent professionals who are prepared to serve their children. President Gary said that the repeated battle from the APC so that a deeper issue. President Gary said the way they see APC, they appear unprepared for the challenges ahead and they are now resorting to excuses to mark their potential failures. He said this pattern of behavior is not conducive to fostering a constructive dialogue about education in Edo states. So he wants to urge the people of Edo state, particularly teachers, parents and students, to dismiss this unfortunate comment that was made by a February. Chris Nigari said it is crucial to recognize that their government is committed to uploading the constitution and prioritizing the welfare of their children over the whims of individuals. So may they not listen to waiting for everybody to talk. So all this katakata came as Obaseki on Sunday said with the support of teachers and other stakeholders in education sector. They do basic education sector transformation program and other reform that had transformed the state education system would be sustained. Obaseki gave the assurance at the education ecosystem interdominational Thanksgiving service held at South Victor Uwai for Creative Hub in Benin City in the state capital. Noting that teachers in Edo State were the pillar on which his government reform rested. Obaseki said with the gains recorded in the last eight years, the state would never go back to the era of educational system decay. So it is almost impossible to kill good idea. It would be difficult to kill the best as well. What they have started will be sustained. Obasiki said he knew that he started all this with them and they now own it. Never again will Edo go back to the era of 2016 where he started from. So the idea of Edo Best and the educational reform was not their doing, but spiritually driven. So it is their doing. The idea of their education will not die. Obasiki went ahead to thank the teachers for all their support because they are the pillar on which his reform are resting. Obaseki said it was clear from the beginning that if teachers are not trained, the children will not learn. So he wants to thank them all because they didn't reject his reform. And his training for them made his reform possible. So Edo Best would not have been successful without the parents, teachers and communities as they have contributed to the sustenance of the reform. Obaseki stated through the ecosystem his admission was able to connect 15,000 teachers. 500,000 people in their school and other teacher institutions of learning. So it connects with over 1 million students in Edo State. It shows how important this sector is to them, so, which was why he made the educational system his priority. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in our comment section. We'd love to hear from you once again. Thank you all so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, comment, your next. Bye for now.